Good evening, board members, community members, cabinet. Um, this month is Autism Awareness Month, and so you will see many of us around the room wearing um, ribbons, uh, multicolored ribbons, uh, in honor of Autism Awareness Month. And I thank you, um, Myra Hilgera, Dr. Hilgera, for she actually put these together with her own hands because um, it's that important that we acknowledge and learn more about autism as it impacts more and more of our kids um, as they're identified. Um, a couple of things just came in, so before I get to that slide, I wanted to let everyone know that we just learned that Valley High School Boys Golf Team has been selected as the 2018 CIF Southern Section Team Academic Champion. So what that means is the team's GPA of 3.87 was the highest in the enrollment category of, of 1,500 students and above. So that this team will be honored at an academic award ceremony on Tuesday, May 1st uh, at Angel Stadium with the championship banner and ceremony and all the pomp and circumstance that that honor deserves. So congratulations to Valley uh, High School Boys Golf Team. Also, we learned today that, uh, well, actually, I'm going out of order. <laughs> um, I also received a confirmation that the PBS film uh, of Santa Ana High School Orchestra, that PBS will film Santa Ana High School Orchestra on Thursday afternoon during rehearsal. So we're getting more and more regional and national uh, accolade for the students' performances and, and achievements there. So I wanted to let everybody know that this Thursday, PBS will be at Santa Ana High School. Okay, now to my report. Uh, we have a lot to celebrate this evening, beginning with the recent announcements that Muir and Thorpe Fundamental Elementary Schools were both selected as California Distinguished Schools. So we're very proud of the school communities, the teachers, the administrators, the staff, students, and parents for a job well done. The award exemplifies the academic excellence that exists on both campuses and is, exists throughout the district. So every year, uh, California Department of Education honors some of the state's most exemplary schools um, and those that are inspiring uh, and, and trailblading in K-12 education. So this is um, one more outstanding accomplishment um, for those schools who scored highest overall achievement scores in academic as well as non-academic indicators. So congratulations to Muir and Thorpe. Additionally, to celebrate a college-going culture, Segerstrom High School also, as you heard earlier, honored 40 students, that's 4-0, who have all been officially admitted to the University of California at Riverside in the fall. And as the students said earlier, that is the largest class um, that they have admitted across the state. So we have a, a critical mass there at UCR, so we'll be watching for our students um, and their academic pursuits uh, from Santa Ana, High, uh, Santa Ana School District. Additionally, Santa Ana High School is celebrating the selection of Luis Jimenez and Alan Pacheco as two of the top 15 semifinalists for the Orange County Register's Artist of the Year. We know that both Luis and Alan are both extremely talented, so it is no surprise to us that they have received this honor. So congratulations to both of them. <laughs> Santa, uh, Santiago Elementary School is celebrating a team of champions for, um, from the Orange County National History Day competition. So Clarissa Herrera, Jimena Lopez, Kenya Placentia, and Victoria Herrera became champions with their performance that was titled, The Compromise of 1907, Theodore Roosevelt and the San Francisco School Board Decision. So the students will travel to Sacramento uh, May 5th um, to, um, to the state competition. And so from now until then, they'll continue their work with their teacher, Mr. Eric Peterson, uh, to bring home that state title. So congratulations to them and best of luck to Santiago. And we also learned this afternoon at Santiago that they are the winners of uh, $25,000 from the Scholar Donor, uh, Dollars Grant, 
a program that uh, was funded by ScholarShare College Savings Plan. So they were able to get enough votes to win $25,000 for their school, and the winner was selected based on the number of votes online. So thanks to everyone who voted daily to, to help them to gain the $25,000 for their school. <laughs> Congratulations to Ms. April Salas, a teacher from Mendez Fundamental Intermediate School, for being selected as the 2018 National Geographic Grosvenor Teacher Fellow. As a fellow, Ms. Salas will participate in an expedition this summer in Svalbard. Iceland and Greenland. She shared that she's looking forward to bringing back her experiences uh, back to the sixth, her sixth grade class and her, and her school community. So congratulations, Ms. Salas, for that, that wonderful honor and being able to bring that experience and that knowledge back to our school district. Congratulations also to Dr. Suzy Lopez Guerra, who is the Director of Community Relations for being awarded with the Woman of Distinction Award from Congressman Lou Correa. She joins an esteemed group of women, including our very own Ms. Amesqua, Board President, with receiving this honor for the significant impact that they've both made to our community. So congratulations, Dr. Guerra, who's not here tonight because she had a personal engagement. Students, student artists from across the district were honored at the sixth annual Artspiration Celebration at the Bowers Museum. The effort was a joint effort between the district and the Santa Ana Public Schools Foundation, and it was an excellent opportunity to spotlight the creative talents of our students to our community and our parents. We have some of the best and brightest artists and through our partnership, we were able to give them a platform to showcase their great work. So it was a really great event, um, and the artwork is always fantastic. So congratulations to the winners of Artspiration, as well as all the participants who, who showed up and showed out with their work. And just prior to our spring break, we had members of, our, uh, members of the community in our schools guest principal for Principal for a Day. It's always a great opportunity to see our principals in our schools and learning about what great things are happening and the trials and tribulations that principals go through in, in terms of leading our schools, but also the successes that our principals have and the, and the daily joy that they get to experience with the kids, with the teachers, and, and growing inspiration. So we encourage them to remain involved uh, with our schools and to become ambassadors by sharing with others all of the great things that are happening in Santa Ana Unified School District and in their local schools. So many of them were alum from our schools, um, and many of them had no idea of all the great things that they were going to experience. So it was really a revelation for many. Um, in addition, uh, the district has been uh, very actively involved in the homeless issue in Orange County. By showing our, uh, our support and our interest with the Board of uh, Supervisors at the meeting that was held on April 3rd, uh, we stressed that our students are a priority in terms of safe routes to school, having a safe community for our students to, to learn and grow. So I applaud the Board of Education. I applaud the staff that was able to be there in terms of taking a leading role with, um, in our city and in our county with respect to the homeless issue. It is really uh, something that we all have to roll up our sleeves and work together on, and we're willing to do that, and we're just um, really proud that we're going to be working with our city and with our county to solve these problems. So coming up later in our agenda tonight, um, we'll be asking the board to adopt a resolution proclaiming April 11th as Barbara Lawrence Hall Day. Ms. Lawrence Hill passed away earlier in March. However, her legacy will continue to live on as she was the first African American teacher, not only in Santa Ana Unified School District, but in the entire County of Orange. She remained with SAUSD until her career teaching at Fremont, Diamond, Mad and Madison ended uh, upon her retirement. So we really want to make sure that we acknowledge Ms. Ms. Hill and her contributions to not only our school district but to our county and the, the glass ceilings that she broke for many uh, in the teaching profession. 
We're also asking the board to consider another resolution declaring the rights of all students in equity in learning the arts. Additionally, we'll have three presentations this evening to the board. One update on the feasibility of a potential bond. The other will be an annual update of the Santa Ana School Police Department, as well as uh, a, an additional uh, presentation on general obligation refunding and the savings that we anticipate get garnering from such an action. We are also going to recess uh, the regular board meeting to hold an open meeting of the Public Facilities Corporation. And additionally, we will ask the board to consider approval for the dual enrollment memorandum for Santa Ana College and the academic calendar for the 2020-21 school year. And lastly, we have a video tape spotlighting one of our uh, excellent schools. Heroes Elementary School is the featured school tonight and let me share with the community and the board all of the wonderful things that are happening um, from this unique elementary school. So please take a look. Diana Torres and I am the very proud principal of Heroes Elementary School in Santa Ana. I am also a very proud product of the Santa Ana Unified School District. I had the pleasure of attending Madison Elementary School, Lathrop Intermediate School, and Saddleback High School. I think what makes Heroes such a good school is that there's a lot of great teachers, librarians, and principals that make you feel safe and confident. If somebody were to come to our school, I would tell them about all the great leadership programs and our, all of our great teachers that we have at our school. The thing that makes us, I think, great is the, the teachers that are here. Um, I can't think of a single teacher who, you know, isn't the most dedicated teacher I think I've ever met. The, the kids, um, if you talk to them, they're happy. Maybe you can hear in the background the enthusiasm of kids going to lunch or going to recess. And to me, that's kind of like, like the gift of life, you know, that um, enthusiastic, happy to be here, want to be in school. When you walk our hallways or visit our classrooms, you'll immediately get a feel for what motivates all staff members on campus to do the work that we do. We are passionate about our work and we are driven to unleash the potential in every child. We design many opportunities for parents to become involved in leadership activities, parent workshops, Activities and events on campus happen throughout the year to ensure that parents have a variety of choices. I actually enjoy Family Farm Reading. It's a great start to our morning and you know it just gets you involved with the children and the teacher and if you have any questions early in the morning for the teacher you, that is another opportunity to get to it. Heroes is committed to engaging, connecting with, and growing the minds and hearts of our students. We are Heroes Elementary. We are SAUSD. Yay! Thank you, Mr. Mesquite.